topic is finding unknown angle measures. The essential question is, can you use what you've learned about angle characteristics to find missing angle measures? So to find these missing angles, um, I don't want you to use a protractor. I want you to simply use what you know about angle characteristics to find that unknown angle, okay? So the first question says, what's the measurement of angle X? So we're trying to find the um, degree measurement of this angle right here, this opening. Well, something that you ought to know is that this angle X and this 40 degree angle, their relationship is that they're supplementary. So they're going to have a sum of 180 degrees. Go ahead and write this all down, that whole sentence. These angles are supplementary, so they'll have a sum of 180 degrees. So knowing that this angle right here plus this angle right here needs to be 180, another little hint um, that you ought to know is that you see when you draw its arc in and this arc and you connect them, you'll see that it forms a half of a circle. And there's 180 degrees and a half a circle. So that helps me remember, hey, those are supplementary angles. I know that they'll have a sum of 180 degrees. Okay, anyway, so when you add this angle, angle X, plus this 40 degree angle, they'll have a sum of 180 degrees. So this is one of the ways you can do it. Okay, start with the equation. Let's build it. Start with X, then we added 40 to it. So the inverse operation of adding 40 is to subtract 40, so that's what you'll do to both sides of that equal sign. 40 take away 40 is 0. 180 take away 40 is 140. Bring down your equal sign, bring down your x. So the measurement of angle x is 140, and don't forget your degree sign. In this next example, you'll see that there's this little box right here. This little box right there indicates that this angle that I'm tracing is equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, if this angle right here is 25 degrees, you would need to figure out the measurement of angle Y according to the question right here. And you should know that this 25 degree angle plus the measurement of angle Y should have a sum of 90 degrees. When angles have a sum of 90 degrees, they're called complementary angles. So since this angle and this angle right here they'll have a collective sum of 90 degrees, they're called complementary angles. So go ahead and finish this little part right there, please. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to find the measurement of angle Y. So you should know that, well, we don't know this measurement right here of this angle, so I'm going to keep it as Y. And then when you add to it this 25 degree angle right here, it needs to equal 90 degrees because they are complementary angles. So from here, you just go ahead and build it and solve to find out the value of y, okay? So we started with y, then we just added 25 to it. The inverse operation of adding 25 is to subtract 25, and that's what you'll do to both sides of that equal sign. 25 take away 25 is 0. 90 take away 25 is 65. So bring down your equal sign and bring down your y, okay? So then I'm going to take this 65 and substitute it back up here. So I know that the measurement of angle Y is 65 degrees. And one way to check this is to go 65 plus 25. And since they are complementary angles, they should have a sum of 90 degrees. And they certainly do. So the measurement of angle Y is 65 degrees. Okay? Now for your summary. What is the difference between supplementary and complementary angles? Write it down. Okay, the next page. It's asking you to find the measurement of angle Z. Okay. Um, something that I notice is that they give me this 35 degree angle right here. And I'm curious if Z and this 35 degree angle are vertical. So here's how you would check. You're gonna look just at that 35 degree angle and you're gonna trace its line. And notice how it's straight, 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 straight. I didn't have to bend, okay? So, so far it matches up with that angle Z right there, and now this side. Oh, look, it's straight, straight. So therefore, angle Z and the 35 degree angle are vertical angles. They're vertical angles, so their angle measures are congruent. And write this down, the whole thing. And there's a symbol for congruent, okay? A little equal sign with a squiggly above it. And that just means they're exactly equal. Same size, same shape, same angle measures for those particular angles, okay? So measurement of angle Z is 35 degrees simply because you know the definition of vertical angles. And vertical angles have the characteristic that they will be congruent. 
Okay, the next one you see that there's a lot going on, there's a lot to find right here, and you can go in any order, but um, for this, these set of notes anyway, I put them in an order that would hopefully make sense that would lead you to the answer, okay? So let's start off with the measurement of angle FBD. So let's go ahead and locate that. Here's F, here's B, remember the vertex is in the middle, and D, FBD. And look, it's given. So that right there, that's 30 degrees. It's 30 degrees, it's given to you, okay? Then the measurement of E, angle E, B, C. E, B, C, oh, look, that's also given to you right there. That box indicates 90 degrees, okay? So 90 degrees right there. Now the next one says the measurement of angle A, B, D. So let's locate that, A, B, D. Oh, so it's this opening right here. So that measurement of that angle. And what we just talked about was vertical angles. So you should see, oh, that traces, traces, straight, 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 straight. So this whole opening right here is vertical to this opening. So therefore, if this is 90, this whole opening has to be 90 degrees because of the definition of vertical angles. So A, B, D is also 90 degrees, that big opening. Okay. Now the next one is the measurement of angle A, B, F. So A, B, F. Okay, I'm going to kind of zoom in on that right there. You know that A, B, D is 90 and this um, F, B, D is 30. So to figure out this one right here, you know that they are complementary angles. So if this is 30, then this one has to be 90 subtract 30 to get this guy, which was uh, 60. So this guy right here, this opening right here, not this box, this opening right here is 60 degrees, okay? So let's go ahead and, whoops, not there, sorry. 60 degrees, okay? All right, the next one is angle A, B, E. A, B, E. Okay, I'm going to zoom in there. I'm going to go ahead and cover up the stuff I don't really care about. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now is that I see that this is 90 degrees, and I see that this right here forms a um, half circle if I join their arcs. And due to the definition of supplementary angles, this also has to be 90 degrees, because if this is 90, 90 plus 90 equals 180, so this is also 90 degrees. So, sorry about that, 90 degrees, okay? The next one says the measurement angle D, B, C, and that's the next one you're going to find. So go ahead and locate that on the paper. I lost my there it is. D, B, C, so D, B, C. Oh, okay, so there's a couple ways you could figure this out. I know that this is 90, and vertical angles are always congruent, so this would also have to be 90. Another way you can look at it is this angle and this angle. This is 90, this also has to be 90 because of the definition of supplementary angles. Another way you can also look at this is just cover up all this other junk right there. If this angle right there is 90, then this also has to be 90, again, due to the definition of supplementary angles. So we have ruled that this is 90 degrees. Okay, the next one is E, B, F. So let's locate that, E, B, F. Oh, so that's a big old obtuse one. So it's this angle combined with this angle. So if this one was 90 and this one is 60, I just have to simply go for this whole one that's in blue, just have to go 90 plus 60, and that would equal 150 degrees. So this whole big one right there, EBF, is 150 degrees. Okay, the last one is the measurement angle CBF, so please locate that, CBF. CBF, so it's going to be this angle and that angle right there, right? Okay, just add them. So this one's 90 and this one's 30. So 90 plus 30 is 120. So the measurement of this angle is 120 degrees. Okay, in a complete sentence, I want you to answer this. Um, what angle relationship do angles A, B, F, so find that, and F, B, D have? So what's the relationship? Are they vertical? Are they complementary? Are they supplementary? Okay, bye.